Speaking on TV late on Thursday, Kanzati said that the cruise missiles currently used by the Iranian naval forces are of subsonic type that can travel near the speed of sound. In the near future, we have on the agenda the production of supersonic missiles, which use turbofan engines to fly several times the speed of sound, he added. Supersonic missiles are capable of traveling at a speed between Mach 2 and Mach 3, which is up to 3,700 km per hour. Mach number is a velocity relative to the speed of sound. The Iranian commander further announced that the naval forces are seeking to launch missiles vertically, noting that in that case, more missiles could be placed on the deck of ships to hit diversified targets. The missile engines used by Iran's navy will definitely undergo changes so that they can withstand higher temperature for a long time, he said, adding that there would also be reforms in refueling and navigation systems. We have achieved a range of 300 kilometers in cruise missiles and we will soon reach more exciting ranges," Kanzardi emphasized. On Thursday, Iran's navy said that it had successfully tested new generation cruise missiles, designed and developed by experts at home, during military drills in the Sea of Oman, which is close to the Strait of Hormuz and the northern Indian Ocean. The missiles destroyed targets at a distance of 280 kilometers, 170 miles. The projectiles which were launched from both trucks and ships hit buoyant targets in the sea. Speaking at the end of the maneuvers, Kanzati stressed that the production of new homegrown missiles will better equip the Islamic Republic to handle any threat against the Islamic establishment and the Iranian people, while strengthening a sense of self-reliance in the Iranian armed forces. Iran says its missiles serve self-defense purposes, stressing that they are mere means of defending the nation against enemy threats. Other Iranian cruise missiles. While the Saumur and Haveza constitute Iran's current high-end cruise missiles, there are other systems at Tehran's disposal and there are grounds to suspect that one of these was utilized in the recent attacks on Saudi oil facilities. With these systems being shorter ranged and likely less expensive than the Saumur and Haveza, they may in effect have greater implications for the regional military balance than Iran's higher-end systems. In a high-profile defense exhibition attended by Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei in 2014, Iran revealed what it called the Yoali cruise missile. Similar in appearance to an elongated Chintz C-602 missile, the Yoali is a medium-range missile with a reported range of 700 kilometers. Prior to the Yoali, and until the Saumur and Haveza were revealed, Iran's longest-reaching cruise missile of any type, i.e., including anti-ship missiles, which will be discussed later, had a maximum range of around 300 kilometers. And although the Yoali's range was insufficient to target Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coast, let alone Israel, it was ideal for most missions against the Gulf Arab states given that much of their respective military and civilian infrastructure is proximate to the Gulf's coastline. As of this writing, it is unclear whether the Yoali is in Iranian service. But a distinct and previously unknown cruise missile has been used by the Iran-aligned group Ansar Allah in Yemen. In June 2019, a cruise missile that the Yemeni group calls the Quds-1 hit a Ba'a airport in the border region of Saudi Arabia. At a press conference, a Saudi official described the missile as the Yoali, but, as analysts have pointed out, parts of the wreckage were reminiscent of the design of the Samar Haveza. Following a large exhibition of Ansar Allah missile and rocket capabilities, it became clear that the Quds-1 is a distinctly new design. Perhaps most prominently, the engine is mounted outside the fuselage, as with the Saumur Haveza, but not the Yoali. According to both Saudi officials and members of a panel of experts reporting to the UN Security Council, the Quds-1 utilizes a Czech-origin TJ-100 turbojet engine. Notably, a very similar, if not identical, turbojet engine was on display at the 2019 Defense Industrial Exhibition in Iran. Fabian Hins, an analyst of Iran's missile program, has used the known dimensions of the TJ-100 to measure the diameter of the Quds-1, revealing a 34-centimeter diameter missile clearly distinct from the Saumur Haveza, which has a diameter of 51.4 centimeters. 
Furthermore, it can be determined that the TJ100 engine provides significantly less thrust than even the Micro Turbo Tri-60 Talao, which the ULE is suspected to utilize.